Well, a big thank you to Joy and Michelle for those reports. Now, of course, many organizations have had to change their operations because of COVID-19. That includes here at the Chattanooga Area Food Bank's warehouse. Latrice Curry explains. Welcome back to the 35th annual Share Your Christmas. I'm Lori Mitchell. So glad this is what comes to mind when you think of Share Your Christmas. A day filled with giving, incredible stories, and scenes of people from all walks of life coming together to help our neighbors. It's the city's largest food drive. Well, thank you. Yes, and your name? The coronavirus pandemic has brought about both a health and economic crisis as jobs have been lost and hours cut. This has led to an increase in food insecurity as families struggle to pay their bills and put food on the table. So while Share Your Christmas will look different this year, it will be even more important. When you're, you're talking about Share Your Christmas, that the, the COVID that's happened to us is not going to end. The food, you know, there's still people in our area that have not had a job and not uh, been prepared for losing their job. Payne says they've seen a 30% increase in need across our area. The Chattanooga Area Food Bank serves 20 counties across Southeast Tennessee and Northwest Georgia. We have uh, strived really hard to meet that need and with the donations that we had, we purchased food, allowed us to do that to provide for our guests. Amid the pandemic, the food bank has had to change how they operate and distribute food. We realized that the number of volunteers that we had in the place had to change uh, just from the social distancing side of it. Uh, so we lowered the number of people that we allow in the building at any given time at 25. Before COVID-19 hit, Payne said they would have anywhere from 50 to 100 people in the building at a time. Now they have to do more with fewer people. We provide masks and gloves and sanitizer for that. So people, uh, we're trying to keep them safe. We don't know truly how long the virus lasts on product. Some reports say it could last anywhere from several hours to a couple of days. So Payne says the food bank takes extra precautions. We take the food in the back door and then we quarantine it for 72 hours before we do any sorting or touching or anything of that within the facility. Then once the food is ready for distribution, that process has also changed. We used to have our guests come in uh, to pick up their food, and now we have uh, allowed them as a no-touch option. So we actually load their buggy up and take it outdoor, and they stay in their car, and we load it in their car. It's easy to donate for Share Your Christmas. So they can go to their local grocery stores that are our partners in the, in the Share Your Christmas and donate food there. Uh, and they don't have to come down here to this facility on that day. The food donated for Share Your Christmas helps provide for families over the next year. Food is an everyday thing, not just from COVID, but it, it's happening year round. So we hope that everybody understands that. I remember all morning long, you can be calling us here at the food bank to donate. Call 423-702-FEED. That's 423-702-3333. You can also text End Hunger to 243725 to donate.